This is me doing a quick movie review of the movie that I went to see. So stay tuned. Here we have it from writer director M. Night Shaman. The movie that I'm talking about. Split. Yeah, this is my review. Let's go. So yeah, I went to see Split. I tell folks, don't waste your money. Wait for it to come on Netflix, Redbox, anything like that. And I'll tell you why. And the movie was cool being PG-13 and all that, but um, it wasn't as scary as it could have been. You know what I'm saying? I know it was PG-13 and all that, but I feel like it could have been a lot more added to it, a lot more suspense. You know, I mean, I don't want to give it away, but you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't what I expected it to be. It shed a light on mental health, which is good, but I wasn't as entertained as I thought I would be. And overall, it was a cool movie. You know what I'm saying? If you really, really, really need to see it, you can, but I wouldn't rush to it. I need to come up with some kind of rating system for these movies. You know, maybe like one of my coworkers suggested, star system. So like out of five stars or something like that, maybe I'll give it two and a half. You know, it was a little bit of suspense. It was a little bit of humor, you know, but it could have been better, you know? I honestly thought it was this comeback movie, but truthfully, truth be told, it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't great. I say that because it was more hyped, you know, it was more sold on the thing that there was gonna be more, and I don't wanna give it away, but there is gonna be a sequel with the way that the movie ended, and there's potential to redeem it. Anyway, it's just my opinion of the movie. You can go out there and see it if you want. Um, you know, like I said, something to do with the girlfriend, you know, or significant other, whoever you're with. Now I gotta disappear to the night. Take care. Thanks for watching.